I had I had a quick question. The uh, does uh, weightlessness uh, have an impact in terms of uh, your ability to to sleep? Sir, we just arrived here uh, just a few days ago, and uh, it's taken a while to get used to. Uh, for me personally, uh, missing a pillow. Uh, you're used to laying down on a mattress and having a place to rest your head, and uh, so it's it's taken uh, taken a while to get used to that. Well, the uh, I know uh, the kids got a chance to ask some questions. I want to make sure that uh, if there are any members of Congress who've got uh, some questions that they're interested in, that they've got a chance too. Okay, hold on. This is uh, K. Bailey Hutchinson from Tex. I understand that you are doing uh, experiments on salmonella and watching those organisms and how they react and grow, and we've had some salmonella problems here on Earth. Uh, what do you think you will be able to learn from the, the uh, environment in space that maybe you couldn't learn here on Earth? going to have a bit of a hard time answering that question. We do indeed have a, a, an experiment called the National Laboratory Program Vaccine Experiment in which salmonella, um, are, uh, in which certain microorganisms are exposed to salmonella. My job as an astronaut was basically to turn the crank and activate the experiment, and then after about four or five days, uh, turn the crank again and deactivate it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the scientists are going to do with the data back at home or with the samples. We are returning, however, eight big vials of samples of these uh, of these cultures, cultures with microorganisms and salmonella, and let the scientists go to work. This is Bill Nelson. He's he's uh, he knows a little something about this stuff. Hey guys, I wish I were up there with you. Um, you are just getting to the point where it's really looking like a full up national laboratory where we can really do the experimentation. Uh, when will you have it uh, full up, ready to go, where we can then reap the results of that $100 billion investment? It's nice to hear you again, sir. Um, the International Space Station has already been delivering uh, some of the science we promised. What, uh, where we are now is... Uh, and Expedition 18, our crew, is, uh, we're making the turn from three people to six people. The next crew that comes after us, uh, a few months after, uh, after we get replaced, we'll have, uh, we'll have six people on board the International Space Station. So that's why we needed the solar power. That's why we needed the second toilet and other things so that we have a room and, and, uh, facilities for six people. And, uh, once we have six people, we'll have enough, uh, time and energy, uh, solar power, I mean, to, uh, to run all the experiments uh, that we can, and then it's just a matter of uh, getting enough uh, experiments up and down from the space station uh, to really reap on, on that science. Uh, we've uh, already been delivering, and uh, we've got a lot more to come, and like Sandy said, there's a lot of things we don't know, so there's some really interesting discoveries out in front of us. Do any of the young people have any more questions? Hold on one second. We've got one here. Do you love doing your job? They asked if you love doing your job. Yes, it's uh, it's wonderful to, to work in space. Uh, ever since I saw Apollo 11, the lunar landing, when I was five years old, I always longed for uh, going to space and work. And uh, here a dream came through. I uh, had to study hard and work hard. But I'm so uh, happy to be here, and I'm love, loving uh, living here and working with so many uh, wonderful people here. Uh, the uh, how, Just a couple of logistical questions. How, how long did it take from the time of launch? How long did it get? Uh, did, does it take to get to the space station? Uh, well, Mr. President, uh, let me ask that in two uh, 
uh, two ways. First of all, it takes us about eight and a half minutes to get to orbit, and at that time we're, we're going 17,500 miles an hour, but we're in a bit of a tail chase with the space station, and it's approximately about a day and a half to two days later that we actually rejoin with the space station. Okay, so eight minutes just to get in orbit, but then you've got to basically try to, to catch up with the space station uh, and match up so that you can, uh, you can lock in. That's exactly right.